My name is Marek. Everyone calls me Bear or Bearski. Uh, this is my channel, Bearski Method. It is a channel about natural way of keeping your predatory companions, whether they're fish, cats or dogs, or whatever, what have you. We basically here address the biological factor first and foremost before we give them names and everything else that, uh, you know, that we think they need and require. <laughs> Anywho. Uh, today we're gonna do a quick water change, flush in, flush out. As you can tell, I gotta get all undressed to dive in there and uh, do some maintenance, which will follow up with a good feeding. And once more, uh, you know, a little bit of a conditioning, a little bit of my method of basically uh, teaching the fish to adapt to this commotion, to our routine and be able to participate or at least be able to, uh, you know, display and enjoy them as they would, you know, as you could in uh, their natural environment, nearly natural. <laughs> All right, um, well, without further ado, I gotta go outside. I gotta catch me some, uh, catch them some food, whether that's gonna be a chub or frog, I'm not sure yet, whatever the nature brings us, but most definitely <clears throat> I'm gonna bring you along. So stay tuned, my friends. What's up, Zulu? Um, yeah, holding tank. This tank, as I mentioned before, needs a little, a little maintenance, a little cleanup, glass cleanup, but other than that, all good. And the juvenile tank as well. The glass is actually not too bad. Just a standard water change. 30% flush in, flush out, and then feeding. All right, you guys, let's get outside. Let's get set up, let's get going. All right, I'm gonna go over there and catch some frogs, so hang on. Check it out. Yep, he's gonna be the big rana meal. It's a pretty sizable bullfrog, gotta say. So, pretty successful hunt. Uh, I don't know if you guys got that, but I did catch a big bullfrog. Uh, I stalked him for about 15 minutes. He dove away, jumped out of the way, and went into hiding. But uh, I tracked him down <laughs> and double backed on him, and I got him. So this one is gonna go for the uh, for the ju uh, excuse me, for the adult ranas. This one's gonna go in the adult tank, sizable prey. Uh, let's catch some chubs for the juvies now. Let's go over there by the creek, catch some chubs. Luckily, we don't have far to go. Just. Uh, just right here in the back of the house. The creek is nice and brisk, meaning we had some rains and uh, sure, sure enough the level has risen substantially. So here we are. Let me set my stuff down. All right, back to our fruitful spot. Time to catch a chub. one right there and that pretty much concludes our fishing so that took all 30 seconds <laughs> anyway that's all we need so we're not gonna spend too much time here we got a chub and we got a big old bullfrog for the ranas for the uh, adults so everybody's gonna be eating well tonight all right you guys uh, yeah as you can see my uh my endeavors here are you know a lot of fun you know tons of fun so let's go inside let's begin the maintenance let's start on the maintenance now it's time for uh you know cleanup commotion and then feeding of some nice fresh wild cod as always raw and uninhibited 
All right, you guys. All right, you guys. <coughs> it's time to, it's time to get to work. Time to clean this tank. Give it a little, a little touch-ups here and there. I've seen uh, some of my plants are uprooted. Uh, it's like a never-ending battle with this, with maintaining, you know, keeping things in place with these guys being so robust swimmers, you know. So let's do this. Let's get going. Let's get cracking. Of course. First things first. Water out and then water in. Uh, I'm gonna let it drain a little more before I introduce the water back in. So one of the comments mentioned Pavlov's, the Russian you know, psychiatrist, psychologist, Pavlov's uh, you know, experiment with the dog and the bell. And this is, this is identical. So just think of it this way. If you could train a fish to respond to you and the certain factors that you implement, you know, conditioning factors, uh, what you can do with a dog or a cat, you know, for instance, um, through training, proper feeding and everything else. I actually noticed these guys are like sort of reciprocating. The excitement here is almost transpiring into these guys. It's kind of awesome. Check it out. Yeah, yeah, check it out. See? They're doing a little excitement dance, just watching me being around the other guys. Pretty cool. Little mini vortex of excitement, which, you know, is a standard procedure here. <laughs> as we call it all right I'm gonna keep on keep on working uh, that's just about where I want it to be where I apply the fresh water now all right all right so much sure all right girls are very excited All right, so we're gonna let this roll for about, you know, 10, 15 minutes. It'll give me that 30% water change that I'm looking for without really doing any work. Uh, now on this tank, on this tank, on this tank, we're gonna do the same thing. It's actually kind of minimal amount of work when you consider 220, 220, 440, 500 something, this is 120, so 560 gallons of, you know, water to handle and by myself, you know, in a couple hours. And an hour, hour and a half, two hour stops, nothing. A measurable amount of, you know, <clears throat> time saved, effort, and everything else. So, what did they say? How did they say it? work smarter not harder <laughs> so once I disconnect the out and just let this fill in I'll disconnect this out uh, this tank and then swap the hose that way I'll get two uh, tanks cleaned out under one hour maintain cleaned out under one hour without barely moving finger <laughs> best part I'm gauging by the you know color of the water is still quite straw amber whatever you want to call it I don't want it to be amber I want it to be around straw which is like the light yellowish tint from all the wood and obviously you know driftwood same with this one this uh, somewhat like you know, amber water, which is again more indigenous to their, you know, where they come from. But the water is a little more murkier, darker, murkier like that. Is more calm and more suited for them. And if it's crystal clear, you can still see quite well because it's not as deep. Almost there. Don't like rushing this process because, like I said, I don't do this too often. Once, twice a month. 
it all depends on how how heavy I feed them too, and uh, that's probably the best way to keep everything running smoothly, not introducing too many variables. They could throw off your water parameters and kill off your entire pack or whatever your community. So maintaining the certain parameters is usually means keeping this you know the system and whatever pretty similar each time. Intact with the same formula, same steps you take each time, whether it's the amount of water, the temperature, the source of water, etc. etc. I gotta switch this now. Oh. A little spillage. I guess make it good. Something like that. The idea is basically not to not to do too much. Not to strain yourself trying to maintain a tank because then it's quite discouraging working on it, maintaining it, keeping it, and it starts to fall behind. Making it easier and making it more you know, sustainable makes it a lot more enjoyable. Hey, so we were very lucky today. We actually scored. I'll never show you this part of the house, but... <laughs> Yeah, we got a couple chubs and a big bullfrog. Chub died, so we'll utilize them. Give them to the cat. He'll have them. Come on, Zarkawi. Eat a chub. Got you a freshie. Come on, buddy. Come on. Up. There you were. No, no, those are, those are for the, uh, those are for the ranas. Yours is up here. See? There he is. Yeah, go ahead. Good for you, buddy. Enjoy. Yep, fresh cooked chops for my for my beasts. They love the uh, fresh freshness of the wild and uninhibited. <laughs> but uh, let's continue on. Chub and a big bullfrog going in. Going in now. Infestation, or I should say, the parasite on one of the uh, juveniles eye is gone no more parasite everybody's healthy and uh yeah that's all you need to do is supply you know all the vital nutrients for your fish to be able to build formidable immune system and not having to worry about medicating or any other type of things you know right zulu you know any type of uh, care I call it industrial pet care that you need to concern yourself because mother nature will provide all. So once more, results my friends. It's all about the results, not about some opinions and rhetoric. All right, you guys, let's get to the feeding. First is cleaning and commotion. Now we're gonna do, now we're gonna do the actual feeding time. So. Chub is, chub is in, chub is in. All right, let's follow this guy. He's pretty, pretty sizable chub. Actually, as you can see, he's not a small little guy. He's a decent sized little fella. There they are. Correct. Wanna miss out on it? There you go. Oh. Very quick, super quick hunt. They are hungry. Sharing the prey. Still quite uh, timid since the water change, acting quite timid. But now they know that all the commotion will result in good feeding, so it's not for nothing. Chubb's still alive. 
see a little wider angle. Stub is still breeding. Almost done. Just the fragments of chub. Still moving. Still actually alive. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's still moving. No. Nope. Not much left yet. I think they're pretty much at their fill. They'll work on the rest and the placosimus will finish. All right, you guys, so that was a quick juvenile feeding. Now let's, uh, yeah, yeah. Now we're gonna move to the adult runners, move to the other side. All right, and here we are. This is the adult tank, the adult side. Let me move this to more favorable spot. All right, as I said before, this is going to be the largest frog, an actual bullfrog, that's gonna go in the tank. It's a big one, so really interesting to see how this goes. All right, you guys. He's in. He dove out. He dove down, which is always good. That's what they're waiting for. Oh yeah. The ranas can smell him. He's right down there. I know you guys can see him. I'm trying to encompass, you know, as much as possible, as he's probably going to move quickly. The ranas are. Sniffing them out, they can sense some electrical impulses, his heartbeat, his smell, everything. They're picking up on it. Bullfrog, pretty substantial size bullfrog, as you can see. There he goes. Poor folk is going up for air. He is huge. Just a beast. So far, no interest in him. Ooh, he may be too intimidating for these guys. He's just scrambling up to the surface, looking for air. Found air. Go down. Here they go. Ooh, they're they're more familiar with this than ever. Don't want to spook them, but I'm gonna move, relocate, keeping a safe distance. I want them to initiate. Then I'll zoom in. He's right there. I mean, right below him. They're not sure. He's blending in like a rock. I'm sure one of them's gonna take a bite, and that's that's when it's gonna all begin. He's just holding his breath. Bullfrog. All right, let's keep 
patiently wait for what happens. <clears throat> Amazing they haven't initiated anything yet. He is a big, 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 big roadblock. Somehow there's a leaf that got it. There. Ooh, there he goes. They're snipped on him. They went after him after he tried to hide behind the rock. Interesting. Somehow I deposited a leaf, as you can see. With the bullfrog, it kind of looks interesting to be honest. The bullfrog has wedged himself behind the rock. You know, that we all know it can only last so long before he has to submerge. Look at that. Vortex of death has begun. Somebody tasted, tasted the bullfrog. This will start the hunt. Let's check in on the bullfrog. I think he's hiding right behind this rock. Just down there, just below, behind this rock. I don't know how he's managed to hide behind her, but he will not be able to stay there for long. So let's watch. Let's watch them wait for his um, for his uh, ascend as he goes up for air. Don't wait for that. They are already keen down to some sort of possibility of food in the tank. One barb remain still in the mix, still getting in the mix, not worrying about consequences of getting eaten. Kroger's still holding his breath. Big bullfrog, you guys saw the size of him. Oh, they're looking for him. There he goes, there he goes, there he goes. They got him. They went into offensive. Definitely a Strong hit. He is injured. I think he's missing some parts of his foot already. Yep, they are seeking. I can sense him. Seeking him out. Sorry for that shaking, but we're doing handheld edition today. I don't want to miss anything on this big, big bullfrog attack. He's right up there. They're right below, just circling. Bullfrog is up top. Ooh, he's getting around. He's getting caught up in my lily head. <laughs> Found a refuge, temporary refuge up top. No interference for me. I'm gonna try to just basically leave things as uh, as they are. Normally the frog sneaks right out, but this bullfrog is almost too big to just get out easily. So he has found himself to be wedged up at the one of the root my root fixtures. I don't know if you can see, but this guy is bleeding heavily. Yep, he is bleeding. He is hit hard. The right below him. I'm gonna give you a wide angle for a second. So you guys can see, uh, he's right there. He's being patient, now steady. There's the barb, leading him to it. If there was more barbs, this would have probably be a little bit more dynamic as well. But I can set, they can smell that blood that's coming out of that bullfrog. They can totally smell it. You can see that they are visibly, you know, agitated, excited. Bullfrog is just right above them. There he goes. He's, he's cramming up for air again. Going up for air. Well, I 
Okay, let's just wait. Let them do the thing. There goes Frogger. Walker goes to the bottom. There it goes. I'm still alive, I'm trying to escape. He doesn't have a lower body anymore. Text of death upon him. They are getting full. Almost done with it. Definitely uh, got their got their fill. Right to move. So is watching Yeah. He watches him hunt. He's just learning himself how to hunt frogs. Is that a frogger left, Zulu? Is that a frogger left? No. Done. Yeah. He's saying they're a good job, right? 
job, girls. Good job, ladies. Well, the rounds aren't completely done yet. We're still picking on some of the vital parts. So, a few more minutes, and we'll have to grab that guy. There you go. See, once they feed, it like, seems like the feeding itself is what fires them up. You know, the frenzy induces more. So what you're hearing here is Zulu breathing heavily as he's watching his favorite Ranas. <laughs> you see? Zulu watching Ranas. You love the Ranas, Zulu? It's his favorite TV show. <laughs> so is ours. <laughs> <laughs>